Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back. Today we are continuing our cassette bot portion of the Moo Model Transformers. And we have a double pack here. We have Laserbeak and Ravage. Um, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to get into this build. Uh, Laserbeak was always my favorite cassette bot with Ravage actually being number two. So I think uh, this is going to be a personal favorite of mine. Uh, it is a smaller box. There is uh, Chinese on it once again. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging and then we'll get her open. And here is the packaging for this particular piece. As you can see, we've got some Chinese on it. Uh, images of the final product uh, and I am ecstatic I think laser beak looks absolutely wonderful I love the venting here I don't imagine that's going to be terribly difficult as long as it follows the same pattern we saw with Soundwave and with frenzy we got ravage here uh, with his little laser cannons on uh, his hips um, Love this little detail along the tail here. A lot of this looks laser etched, but uh, we'll see as we get into it. On the back, uh, more product images. Look at those thrusters. That looks wonderful. I can't wait to get this together. This is going to be great. Um, according to this, it looks like about two hours is what they say for assembly. But it's got 104 pieces. Now, if I recall correctly, um, Frenzy only had about 70, and they also listed him at two hours. But they were correct in the time for him. Maybe they are here as well. And it says it's a difficulty of four. I have no reason to think otherwise. So we'll take that as it is. Let's go ahead and get the cellophane off and see what's inside. As per always, this, what we just looked at is just a sleeve, and this is the actual box. So let's push this in. Let's see. Mm, there we go. All right, uh, much like Frenzy, this does not have a full book of instructions, just uh, some sheets here, a sheet. Actually, a sheet no bigger than Frenzy's for two models. So that's cool. That should be nice. All right, and the finger condoms. And this time, oh, we've got some magnets. I can't wait to see where those go. Uh, our sales pamphlet, no different than any other sales pamphlet that we've gotten from any other model. And now we've got our metal. Let's see here. Okay, looks like we have two half sheets of metal. Um, they are both individually sleeved. I can't tell 100% right now, of course, but it certainly appears as though they've separated it with laser beak being on one and Ravage being on the other. Uh, this piece right here, it looks absolutely massive. It looks like almost the entire rear legs. Um, well, this just, this looks like it's going to be fun. This is going to be a blast. Um, taking a look at the wings here. I love this pattern that they've got going on here. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm really drawn to it. It uh, almost seems almost like an optical illusion. It's, it's really cool. I like it. Um, on the Ravage side, man, look at the detail on that right there. That is just gorgeous. Ah, oh, this is going to be so much fun to put together. I simply cannot wait. So, uh, why bother? Let's go ahead and get some pieces out and start building.
And here they are, fully assembled, looking absolutely spectacular. Uh, the box was a little bit off. It took about two and a half hours of build time for these guys, which puts it up to about four, maybe five hours total time to complete both builds. Uh, laser beak here was by far the easiest of the two. Uh, there are some questionable areas on Ravage. And in the end, I'm not sure I like Ravage. Um, and I'll show you what I mean when I get into it. But the uh, laser beak is awesome. He's absolutely wonderful. Bring him in for a closer look. As you can see, we've got this beautiful venting here on the thrusters. Uh, all of this laser etched and painted detail. I mean, I love this design on the wings here. Uh, his blasters along the side uh, were actually the most difficult parts of the entire build to get right. Uh, on the back, we've got the thrusters with, uh, you know, the orange and the red uh, underneath. So it looks like they're kind of lit or ready to go. Uh, we've got laser edging here to indicate like bolts and stuff on the sides. Underneath, we do have uh, the copyright information down here as well as whatever that label is. I think that's the Moo model logo, but in Chinese. Uh, obviously, we've got the Decepticon logo here on his belly. Don't believe, oh, there it is. And when, one more on his head. Taking a closer look at the head, you can see we've got the beak here. It's got this little hook. That was interesting to get, well, the way I like it. I think that's about right. Uh, nice little orange eyes. All in all, a great piece. And magnets on his feet. So you can actually mount him on any metal surface. If you wanted, you can actually make this guy a kitchen magnet. Put him on your fridge. But uh, I think I'm more likely to put him on Soundwave's arm where he belongs. For Ravage here, uh, nice silver on the legs. The paws are where things got really, really difficult. The way these things assemble is not easy and they end up being just that tiny bit loose um i don't know if you can see it or not but the, the tiny bit loose because of the way they attach i think the pause could have been done better uh same thing goes for the thrusters on the sides um very complicated to build these things and as you can see a little bit loose, doesn't really hold well at all. Um, that said, you know, it, it is a very nice looking piece when just sat there. Uh, it doesn't quite sit right. It does wobble a little bit, not terribly much. That may have been me that, or, or the model itself. It's hard to tell. Coming in on the head, you can see we've got these uh, little fangs here. Got to be very careful when you're building not to bend those. I love the open mouth, the red on the eyes. Um, these little silver details really kind of stand out and make things look spectacular. Uh, little red highlights, but a little plain along the back side here. Lots of beautiful detail along the abdomen on the sides um septicon logo on either side on the front legs this nice yellow here this is actually just laser etched and painted on this is not a separate piece or anything like that uh, but it did end up looking great even the belly itself has got you know some detail it's not perfect but it's got some detail uh there's your copyright and your logo um the tail, maybe it's just me, but the tail seems a little bit short. It, it does seem a little bit short to me. 
other than that, I mean, it's a nice silver. It stands out. Uh, all in all, I mean, these are two very, very, very nice cassette pots. Uh, I'm glad to have them in the collection. And um, I can't wait to put them in the display. But for now, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. And here they are next to their Masterpiece counterparts. And you can see the Moo Model versions are just ever so slightly bigger. Um, in the case of Laserbeak, uh, it's an improvement over the toy. Though, honestly, not much of one. Um, not as much as I had thought it would be. I like the silver as opposed to, you know, the, 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 the white. Uh, and the venting certainly is more impressive than it is over there. And, of course, the details on the head. In the case of Ravage, however, it's just no comparison whatsoever. The Masterpiece version, the toy, uh, just it doesn't even look remotely as good as the Moo model version. Uh, this guy looks like he has actual legs, whereas this one just has sticks that don't want to stay put. Um, but, uh, and this is about as close as I can get to, to, to matching the poses with the toys. But all in all, uh, there you go for that size. And here they are with some of their Moo model uh, brethren here. We've got... Jazz and Soundwave and Frenzy. And as you can see, you know, Ravage here is height-wise the smallest of the bunch. Uh, and we've got Laserbeak in his proper place on Soundwave's arm uh, for a direct size comparison. There you go. Now, now he's the smallest of the bunch. <laughs> but... Uh, no, he's definitely going on Soundwave's arm for the display. Anyway, uh, that's about all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.